what's up guys in this video i'm going to show you how to make money on instagram um basically this is actually how to monetize your instagram because instagram has come with a new feature that you can you know now monetize your instagram page all right so let's dive into instagram and then let's get started all right so when you open up your instagram what you're gonna do to you know get the monetization is to first of all you have to get to your profile all right when you get your profile advice if you really want to make money on instagram you have to switch to either a brand account which is business account or a creator account then you have the option of the professional dashboard you can see how my profile looks like so make sure your account is business or creator account so when you see this professional dashboard in the in the surface of your you know account you go ahead and click on professional dashboard to get started all right so just go ahead and click on professional dashboard so when you tap on that and another thing is you have to have over 1000 followers i think so then you can see the gift option you can see that gift so you go ahead and then tap on the gift and then it will take you to this part and then you're going to see eligible and then you see there that that says um, start earning from gift and so on and so forth so you can now you know click on start any from gift you know to you know to set up your monetization and then your payment you know your payment profile so when you tap on that it will take you to this section where you have to put in your logo first name your date of birth and country so let's start you know i'll add in my own my own first name all right so here i'm going to add my my surname all right so i'll add in my surname and then that i'll add my date of birth all right after adding your date of birth the next thing you're going to do is to click on country okay so when you click on that you go scroll and then search for your country so after adding your country you go ahead and tap on the next button all right so make sure you confirm every deal you're providing and then tap on next all right so when you get to this part you have to you know select your business type all right so after selecting your country you click on business type and then you make sure you select the type of business you own so if it is individual account you are running you can go ahead and select individual or select any other option and then click on next button all right so tap on the next button all right so here you need to you know still cross check your name your f first name and then if you have a middle name you can go ahead and tap on the middle lego name and stuff like that you know adding your middle name so after adding your middle name you add in your primary address okay you can add in your house address you know just add your primary address All right, after that, you add in your city, all right? So now you got to add in your con your state, okay? After adding your state, you input your postal code. And in case you don't know your postal code, you can find that online. So you add in your phone number. I think it is better to go with your country code, okay? So I'll add in my country code and then my phone number. All right, so here I'll add in my email address. Okay, so all right, so now I come to you know I got to add in my tax identification number. After that, you see the VAT is optional, so it's not really necessary to put in your VAT. So next to go is to click on after you know checking out the that on the VAT, you click on this checkbox and then to accept and then click on continue all right so here it says how would you like to get paid 
if you have a paper account you go with the paper option if you have manual bank account to receive your money you go with the manual but me i basically prefer the manual link bank account okay i would like to you know receive my money through my bank but if you like to receive money through paper you have two options the manual and the paper account option so let me go with the manual link bank account so now um what i'm gonna do is to you know scroll down after selecting so i'll go ahead and scroll down then i'm going to you know you can actually change your bank account holder if you want to use someone else's account to receive your money so whatever you are inputting here is whichever bank you want to use in receiving the money the account number you want to receive the money so if you're using someone else's um account that means you're not going to add in your name there you're going to add the name in the bank account all right so but i'm using my account as well you can see my name up there all right, so here I'll add in my account number and the Swift code. I've added them. So I'll then shake everything properly. All right, shake your account number properly and then Swift code of your bank. Shake it properly and then click on link, pay, link payout method. All right. Okay, so here you need to add your tax information very very important so click on add tax info and then though this part takes a lot of time to load if it takes time just wait patiently so here you need to just click on allow so read every information you're seeing in this part okay so click on allow but before you do anything make sure you read properly and this tax i'm gonna feel is for non-us so if you're non-us make sure you follow my 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 options okay make sure you follow my options properly so individual all right if you're a business you go with business but i usually go with individual all right so the next is are you a u.s citizen all right uh -huh. so you can now decide to say no if you're a u.s citizen you say yes but for me this video is for a non-us and if you're a non-us you go with this all right so I go with no, I'm a non-US citizen. So um, the next session says, are you acting as an intermediary agent or other person receiving, you know, I'm not acting as intermediary, all right? So after everything, I'll click on next. All right, so here you need to, you know, enter the name in your taxpayer in that addiction number so that's my name in the taxpayer so i'll select my my citizenship so you select your country all right that's my country so the next step is your tin number which is which has been automatically added right there so or you have another one you can uncheck it and add another kind of tin number but everything is set properly all right so i'll keep saying it if you're non us just follow this step all right so you click on the next button okay so um here we have my country you have everything you just want me to cross check my information all right so you click on next and then here is we just go ahead and click on next just for you to confirm every information you provided okay but your mailing address if you think you, you don't you don't want to use the uh, the the mailing address shown you can change it all right so um provide additional detail relating to your services um zero percent of my services will be physically performed outside the united states this is because i i'm not in u.s and i'm not i'm not sure of when i'm going to be in u.s so i think i'll go with the first option but if you're in u.s or you think very soon you're heading to u.s you can you know go with the um go with any other option but go with zero percent zero percent service of you know 
So yeah, I think that's the best. Yeah, that's that's just the only thing you have to do as a non-US, all right? So you click on the next button and then here you need to have that shake box shaked, all right? So make sure you don't unshake that, leave it like that. And then here you need to add in your, okay, just click on that check mark, okay? Just click on that. I certify that I have the capacity to sign, all right? So after that, you're adding your full legal name, which is by your first name, your middle name, and your surname, all right? So after that, you, you confirm your, your date of signature, all right? The date you're signing the, you know, the the tax information you're providing. So that's it. So the next thing you're going to do is to click on next button. But make sure whatever you're doing here, read and understand everything. So read everything and understand. So after everything, you click on next. All right. So here is for you to review and submit. All right. So take your time to go through the information you provided as a non-US citizen, if you are a non-US, but if you are a US citizen, not necessary. So click on submit form, all right? Click on the submit form. Okay, so it says our tax information is complete, all right? So you can always update it. You can see the update option. So if you have any mistakes there, you can come back to, you know, edit it. So make sure you select that shake box. I want paperless delivery. Make, make sure you leave it checked and then click on done. All right. So you can see it says you can now earn money from gift, meaning that you can now start monetizing your videos on Instagram. People can now start start sending you gifts on Instagram, all right? So it's very simple. If you think this video is useful, valuable, whatever thing it added to your, you know, to your sense, okay, make sure you drop that in the comment section, subscribe, and then like this video, share this video for other persons to learn from, all right? So you can go ahead and click on done. All right, so when you click on done, you can see our monetization status saying eligible, all right? And then you can see everything is set proper. So that's it, and peace out.